Hello YouTube, this is me, um, Extreme Caliber here, and this is my second video on this account. Today I'm going to be playing War Games Infinity Slayer on Halo 4. This game, I actually find it pretty awesome. Yesterday I wasn't too impressed, but that was mainly because the servers weren't too good yesterday, and um, I couldn't join my friends, and after every match it disconnected me, which was pretty annoying, but this game is pretty brilliant. But there's one thing I have to say is they've changed it a lot from the other Halos. It's called Halo, it has the Halo design and stuff, but it is very, very different to Halo. But it's different in a good way. I think it's about time Halo has a change. It's had like about five games now and this is actually a good change and it's a good way to start off the new trilogy. One of the main things I like is because the assault rifles now are actually pretty good at close range and it makes DMRs seem like they're actually made just to be long range weapons and DMRs are good at being long range weapons and assault rifles aren't good at being long range weapons. That's what um that's what makes the guns managed and not too overpowered because it can destroy at close range but when it comes to long range it doesn't stand a chance. I normally use the storm rifle just because it doesn't really have to reload and I can time my shots but it's just as good as the assault rifle. The assault rifle may be better in, in different people's hands. Now my second one is the Covenant Carbine. I find it pretty rubbish at long range but when it comes to close range it fires as fast as you click it and that can destroy guys if you're accurate which I'm probably going to be in this game. Um, I have actually finally figured out how to synchronize my videos, so now I can make live commentaries, and when I say something, it actually has something to do with what's happening, instead of me saying something, and it happens like five minutes later. So I'm really happy that I figured that out for, for when this game comes out. I'm sorry I couldn't upload anything yesterday, but I hope you're going to enjoy this gameplay. Okay, so I don't really like Promethean Vision. It's not too overpowered. What is it? Oh, sorry about that. Right now I'm using the Call of Duty, I think. Sometimes I use the Call one, sometimes I use... Fish Stick is basically Call of Duty. I prefer Recon, which is more Halo 4 style. So. One thing I have to say is that vehicles are pretty overpowered. Cause right here you see that, that guy didn't stand a chance. The turret can just destroy you and you cannot hijack it when it... It moves faster than you can, so you can't hijack it at all. I'm just going to mow down a few of them in this. But the only thing that balances out the ghost is that it is pretty um, exposed. The pilot's exposed, so it's easy for them to get a few shots on you. Oh, but I actually died there. I'm surprised because that gun, I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty overpowered to that vehicle. I love the new way you can put down ordnance, because now it makes me feel like I'm actually earning something for getting kills, whereas before it would just be like, oh, I got 25 kills, look at me. But one thing I have to say is right there, as before in Halo Reach and all the other ones, you could take out multiple guys with just by yourself if you was a skillful player, but now it's pretty hard to do that because the guns deal more damage and they kill quicker. Battle Rifle was pretty good, I thought DMR would be far better than it, but they're actually pretty balanced, but DMR is better for super long ranges, you can hit guys across the map with a DMR. And I love the way they're making Halo 4 more more improved now with the kill cams and the, uh, what else do they have? Oh, cried. Well, what else do they have? They have a lot of new stuff like um, the Sprint now, which isn't an armor ability, it's just a basic ability and... Yeah, just general improvements, which I really like to the game. I'm sorry if my comment... Oh. I'm sorry if my commentary doesn't sound as professional as usual, because this is a live commentary, and I'm not really used to doing stuff like this. This is really not that good a game right now. And there's a lot of people who will play better than me on this, but um, I'm only level 10 right now, and I just really want to get a few more matches done so I can level up. I'll be covering a lot of gameplay on this.
And let me show you how you fire a Covenant Carbine. I think they've really downgraded the radar. I find it a lot harder to locate guys now. I don't really know why, but maybe it's just me. But I find it a lot harder to locate guys. The Magnum's pretty good, just as it, just as good as it was in Halo Reach. I'm happy they didn't downgrade it to the state it was in in Halo 3, because that Magnum was terrible. You couldn't kill a fly with that. It was actually ridiculous. I love the new loadout system, it really adds a twist to the game. It's nothing too overpowered, the bonuses you get from it, but it makes it a lot more varied and customizable. It's customizable, and it makes me feel like I'm really earning stuff for playing now. Their team is pretty much just camping in there, so I'm going to try to get a few grenades. Got one there. But you have to, you have to kind of line it up. But it's quite good taking out like mini vehicles, like ghosts and stuff. But not really good for the heavy stuff. I love the fact that they kept expanding reticules on some weapons because that's what a lot of people hated Halo Reach for. But I actually pretty much loved it. It made me feel like I had to time my shots more and feel like a true Spartan super soldier. I want to unlock some more cl custom classes because I only have two right now, and I would love to be able to use some more weapons or stuff to be more cus just to be more oh ready for different battle situations. Really, I also find it a lot harder to get accurate grenades out on this game now. People still do it to me, but on Halo Reach, I could easily just throw a grenade and one shot someone. I'm not sure they might have downgraded the grenades. I don't really know. But before, in Halo Reach, it used to be like, you knew exactly how much damage it would take to kill a guy. But on this one, because there's so many customizations and ordnance, it's really complicated sometimes. These guys we're facing right now are pretty good at the game. So I'm going to have to try flank them or something if we still want to win. Because right now we are getting pretty dominated. I normally just use Promethean Vision to rat out campers. Don't really. Oh, gosh. How did. Oh, I think his teammate, his teammate was shooting at me as well. They keep double teaming me, and I'm not really sure what to do. Because, as I said before, double teaming is really effective in this game, and that's one bad thing about it. But finally. Oh, come back, kill, then I die. I don't really know what my teammates are doing right now. I think they're just sitting there twiddling their thumbs or something. I just see most of them running around and not really getting into combat. My friend is online and I'm probably going to go play with him later. Oh, don't know if I'll make a video though. Whoa, crap. Okay, I got destroyed. Now I lost my rocket launcher. Great. As I said, I just really need to take time to get used to this game because it's a lot different to the other Halos. Oh, nice double kill. As you saw there, the Covenant Carbine is really dominant at close range. It can dominate most of the other guns, such as BRs and battle rifles. Oh, that guy had overshields, great. But it, yeah, it's just pretty good when you have a good trigger finger. But I don't think it deals as much damage per shot, so it's not really... It just depends how you really want to play. It's pretty not simple to use as much as the other guns. Okay, this is my first gameplay of Halo 4, I hope you've enjoyed it, and there's going to be tons more to come, so stay in tune, subscribe to my channel, extreme, 
Extreme Calibar. I'm not getting. I'm not really used to this name. Cause I'm used to Shadow Ninja Kieran. I was my account before, and I'm not going to go into that story. It wasn't that very good an account. But another great thing is here, the level up systems are a lot more improved. You can level up pretty fast. You don't have to sit there for days and days on end just to go up one grade or rank. But I don't really like the spot and rank system because I preferred it when it was like generals and stuff like that. Hope you've enjoyed this video. There's going to be tons more to come, so subscribe. Goodbye.